What's up everybody, it's Quentin B. Smith, the Millennial Investor. I want to shoot a quick video today because we are getting roasted, okay? <laughs> when I say we, I'm talking about the millennials, man. Like all the baby boomers are saying that we're useless and we need participation trophies and we need hugs. <laughs> well, I'm here to tell you, man, it's not, we're not useless, okay? Here's the problem. Everybody knows that saving money is becoming harder and harder, like a lot harder. All right, first of all, you got gas prices going up, you got pay going down, and then you have the occasional emergency that just pops up out of nowhere and you gotta deal with it. And it wipes your savings out every time, okay? So I started doing some research, man. Me, me and my friends, we discovered something really cool and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I'm not here to talk about retirement um but i am here to talk about why how saving for retirement like as we used to think about it it's just not gonna work and i don't even want to call it retirement here's what i want to call it okay i want to call it going to the mall i want to call it traveling the world i want to call it going to parties going to friends and family events i want to call it hanging out with my friends i want to call it having fun enjoying my life you know that's what millennials want. We don't want to call it retirement, drive Cadillacs and stuff. We we want to live life, okay? That's all we ever wanted. And so that just takes, to be honest, it takes a certain amount of money. And we've always thought about it a certain way as just saving up a whole bunch of money. And I'm here to tell you it's not going to work. I found this new method that works a whole lot better. I'm trying to pull up my notes so I can share it with you guys. Um, so pretty, pretty much, it's, it's no secret, man. So... All the well-known investors are saying that saving as we know it is, is dead, all right? And there's a new breed of retirement where we're all supposed to be uh, stashing all day and robin hooding all day using those apps, you know, that save you, that save money for retirement for you without having a real end goal. Like, okay, yeah, like I, I'm, I'll vouch for Robin Hood and for stash. They're really cool. But what's the end goal? Like, what are we saving for? What's... What number, what number do we need? How, how, like, you know what I mean? You, you follow me? They're just saying, hey, we'll eventually get there by penny pinching and penny pinching and penny pinching. Uh, and the thing is, and just like living, living so, so small, so like just shrink. Don't have any fun. Don't go out. Don't buy any clothes until you're 40 and then eventually you know, start investing and, and when you're 80, eventually you'll drive a Lamborghini. Like that doesn't work anymore. That's not how it's going to work. Do you agree? So there, look, listen, as bad as it sounds, they're right. Okay. So you can't, you got to start investing somewhere. That's why Robin Hood and Stash are, you know, good. They're good moves. You know, like you got to start investing in the earlier, the better, but you need to know what you're investing for. Okay. So <laughs> listen, that stuff, guessing never really worked. I think we can agree on that. Um, but at the same time, you don't need to be just saving. You don't need to overcomplicate it by getting technical and throwing half your paycheck into a savings account. Like, you're gonna make a penny on that money in, in the bank. So the new method, let's get right into it, man. This is, this is why I'm shooting this video today, all right? So what you need now is the same thing that you've always needed more money <laughs> that's all we ever needed was more money wouldn't if you had more money wouldn't it be easier to save right okay so here's the thing there here's what we discovered we discovered that if you could get your hands on some extra cash you can invest that extra cash for 30 days and it would make you extra cash so at the end of the month you'd have you would have taken that extra money you had and it made you some more money. So at the end of the month, you have more money. Does that make sense? That's huge, it's so huge. And it, there's actually an entire method on this. It's, it's called the save less retirement. You, you actually can save less, still live your life, still go shopping, still party, still travel, and still retire, still be done, still living a good life. And the way it works is you're, you're, you're no longer you're no longer trying to save up an amount that you just take from when you stop working 
and you start getting more income streams that will flow forever. So what it, what it comes down to, let me, let me read this. Let me read this. Um, what you're doing is you're building a lifestyle on income that won't stop instead of savings that will eventually run out. See, the problem with saving up money is that um, there, there are two paths, okay? The first path is how the baby boomers do it. You're going to painfully, I mean painfully, <laughs> save up $600,000 or more in order to stop working uh, so that you can stop working when you're 65 to 85. You can live on it from 65 to 85. But the problem is, what if you turn 86? You know, we're living longer and longer. Like, you're going to be broke and old. You can't work. That's a big problem. It's not going to work for millennials. We might turn 105 and we save to be 85 and we plan to be driving a, a Corolla. Like you, you, dude, we want to ball. We want to have a great time, okay? So method number two, this is how we're going to be able to do it, okay? So basically, let me find it. Um, figure out how much you want to spend, you know? Like, after you pay your bills, how, how often do you want to shop? How often do you want to travel? That number is what you need to make every month, right? Like, event, the old way is like, uh, if you need 2000 or 3000 a month to live on, you're going to be taken away from your 600000 2000 or $3,000 a month at a time until you run out. And the new way is make two or 3000 a month starting right now from investing. Like you got to find the right investment vehicle, but when your when your income starts coming in, you got two or three thousand dollars a month coming in, in your twenties and thirties, and it's coming forever. You don't have to even think about saving up this big lump sum. Your money's coming in forever. You could turn one hundred and fifty-five, and you're still making two or three thousand dollars a month for some work that you did in your in your twenties and thirties. Doesn't that sound so much better? I'm just saying, like, when I found this, I, I, when, I, when we figured this out, I was like, holy cow. All right, so here's, here's the thing. You probably have a lot of questions by now. Like, wh where do I find extra cash? Um, do I have, how do I make more money without finding an ex, without getting another job? Um, do I have to start a business? And that's why um, I wanted to invite you to a special training that my friend Michael A. Ford is doing where he shares with you, uh, he answers all these questions for you. And he's gonna give you a behind the scenes look at how he creates dollars. He, like he creates dollars, this dude's bad. He creates dollar after dollar again and again, and it's gonna pay him until he, even after he croaks, it's gonna pay forever. And uh, he's, he's showing us, so uh, click the link below. It's a, this is, it's a special, it's special, and it's, it's limited time only. If you don't, I would recommend you do it now. Uh, this is time sensitive, and you don't want to miss out, man. If you if you wait, you're gonna miss out. So, click the link below, and you'll see like why I'm so impressed with this, and how, why the wealthiest people in the world are doing this. It, I can't believe they hid this from us. <laughs> so, I hopefully this information helped you. If you find it helpful, drop a comment below. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Like this video, and after you after you check out the presentation, man, dude, definitely share this with somebody if you think it, it can help, okay? Um, like I said, this could be huge. I hope you like it, and uh, let's show these baby boomers how it's done. Millennials to millionaires. Peace.